What's up guys, today we're going to take a look at uh, what is supposed to be the Rolls Royce of Cotton Cloud Cotton. And uh, I didn't realize this at first, but this uh, seems to be a Malaysian made product. So it's going to be pretty hard to find it outside of Malaysia, uh, but you can and you can check the description box for uh, for links where you can get the cloud cotton, uh, but it's supposed to be premium, the world's finest cotton, 100% organic Egyptian cotton, all right? So not Japanese organic cotton. It is Egyptian cotton. So let's get to the close-ups right after this, and I'm going to show you how the cloud cotton actually looks like, how it feels like. Well, I can't show you how it feels like. I'll show you how it looks like. And then uh, I will try to wick it on one of my RDAs. And then we will vape on it and see if it's really much better than Japanese organic Kogendo or Muji cotton as it is all hyped up to be right after this. Alright guys, so here you have your cloud cotton, the Rolls Royce of cotton. Alright, so it comes in a very nice uh, bag here, okay, and you can see the bag naturally hand-packed, combed fibers, no chemicals, no pesticides, no coloring, no bleach, ready to vape, no boiling necessary. And this is their website, cloudcotton.com and Instagram at cloudcotton. So let's... Um, open it up let's take the cotton out so the bag aside you know the bag is definitely good and obviously if you want uh, your cotton to be called a Rolls Royce of cotton then you have to put it in awesome packaging or an awesome bag like this so the bag aside let's take a look at just the cotton itself and obviously there was a little bit more cotton inside I have used some of it and now I'm going to roll it up again okay so let's look at the cotton itself and you can see uh, what they mean when they say it's combed. Okay, so unlike your regular organic cotton, uh, Japanese organic cotton, whether it's uh, Kogendo or Muji, and you can actually make out the individual fibers uh, unlike your regular cotton pad. Okay, it's so soft, it's so fluffy, it feels very silky, but it also feels very, very strong. Okay, so I can I can pull on it a bit. Okay, and it's very very strong so it definitely feels like a more premium cotton than your regular uh, Muji Kogendo cotton okay it feels so perfect okay it feels like uh, it's going to actually work a lot better than your regular cotton just by touching it just by feeling it it feels definitely like the Rolls Royce of cotton now how do you actually use something like this you, there's a few ways. You can either start pinching off a little bit of cotton like that. But as I said, the cotton strands are pretty sturdy, pretty strong here. Uh, or you can just cut off some cotton and then just use it on your bill. So let's say, for example, I have a dual coil bill here. Okay, a uh, Clapton coil bill. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure out some cotton here. And I'm going to cut it. Okay, and so we have cotton like this. And then you can see that the fibers come apart very, very easily. Uh, unlike your regular uh, Kogendo cotton, okay, it, it seems like it's all just uh, mashed up, uh, jumbled up inside there. This one, you can actually take an individual fiber apart just like this. Okay, so um, what I found for a dual coil, okay, I would just cut it like what I showed you before. And I'll just split it down the middle like this and make sure I have even parts for both the parts here. All right, just like that. And now um, if I find that I have a little bit more on one side, I can always just take out a strand of the cloud cotton. Okay, and it comes out very easily. And then I can just add that on uh, to the other part that I already have. Okay, and I can continue to do that until I feel like I have an equal amount on either side. Okay, take it apart, even it out. Okay, and now I am ready to wick this 
So just like with your regular cotton, I would twist on one side. But what I found with the cloud cotton is that it's not so easy to compress the cotton, okay? Uh, you can squeeze a bit harder, but it can take a bit of effort to actually squeeze it up. But when you do, and then I would just wick it like normal cotton. But because the strands are so fine over here, I would also hold on one side of it, okay? Especially on this side. When I start pulling, I will hold it like that as close as I can and on the other side I will try to compress it as well and I found that if I don't do that then when I pull the cotton all the way through I always end up with excess cotton on one side now um, it may not be the case for you if you've tried uh, cloud cotton before but I've been using this for about um, a week now okay and I've made some mistakes most of the mistakes that I've made is in uh, trying to pinch out the cotton from the big roll that you see here, okay? So when I try to pinch out the cotton like that, I always make mistakes in uh, not having enough cotton or not having too much cotton. But the good news is um, because the strands or the fibers of the cotton are so easy to take apart, you can just take out one strand like that. So you can always um, modify the amount of cotton you have. It's so easy to pinch out a little bit more, a single strand of cotton even, and then just add it on. Uh, to how much you want to use actually until you get just about right. So if you start to uh, put the cotton in like this and then you realize that it, it goes in too easily, you need a little bit more cotton, then it's easy just okay pinch out a little bit more cotton, individual fibers come out like that and then just add it on, even it out and you can try to uh, get the cotton through your coils again. Alright, so just like that. I'll hold down the other side, compress it a bit and try to pull it through. So now I have an equal amount of cotton on both sides. Okay, as far as I can tell, uh, but I will only really know once I start using it. And then I'm going to just cut the cotton. It is a bit harder to cut the uh, cloud cotton okay, because it does feel a bit harder, a bit stronger. And I'm going to cut on the other side as well. All right, and what do I do with the excess? What do I do with all this additional cotton? You can throw it away, of course, uh, but if you have a lot of excess, okay, for example, um, in the pack here, I have a lot of excess here from uh, the last time I used it. You can actually keep it, okay, because this, uh, you can actually use it for one of your smaller builds, for your sub-tank mini. I think uh, this length of cotton like this, with the amount of cotton will fit, perf will fit perfectly well into your sub-tank mini build. Right, so now I've gone ahead and trimmed out a little bit more cotton and you can see um, it's so easy to fluff the uh, cloud cotton, okay, compared to your regular organic um, Kogendo cotton which gets a bit compressed when you cut it. Uh, but for the cloud cotton, the individual strands are so visible, okay, you can see the individual strands of cotton from here all the way here. So now okay. let's, uh, let's start to prime the cotton, the cloud cotton. And so here's what I'm going to be using. Okay, I'm going to be using a tea up, a green tea latte, something new that I just tried. And now uh, the reason I haven't uh, tucked the cotton in yet, because with the cloud cotton, I find that it's very springy, okay? So when I try to tuck it in, okay, unlike uh, regular Muji Kogendo cotton, it just doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, it's a bit more difficult to tuck it in. I guess because the fibers are stronger, it just springs right back out at me. So I'm going to uh, put some edges on here first. And uh, another thing I've noticed with the cloud cotton as well, it doesn't really quite uh, absorb your edges the first time you try to prime it. But once you have edges in there, it works. It works perfectly well. Okay, so now that the cloud cotton is primed and it's more willing to cooperate with me, I am going to tuck it in, fold it like that, tuck it in, so much easier to do. And on the other side as well. Okay, now I have the cotton tucked in nicely. Definitely it took a lot more effort uh, than regular Kogendo Muji cotton. 
But of course, um, as I said, if you prime it first before you start to stuff the cotton in, it's a whole lot easier. Otherwise, it just springs back on you and if you push it too hard, then you, the individual fibers actually come apart. Okay, so now I have it wicked, saturated as you can see here. So let's test fire uh, what we have here at 60 watts, 0 0.57 ohm dual Clapton bill. And I can get the green tea flavor smell right away, okay? And this is going to be so, so good. All right, so everything looks good. Uh, you can still see the individual fibers of the cloud cotton, okay? It's just so much stronger than your regular Kogendo or Muji cotton. Alright, so that's all for the close-up of the cloud cotton. And um, let's get back to FaceTime. I'm going to talk a little bit more about my experience uh, using cloud cotton so far. And if it's actually worth uh, spending a little bit more to get cloud cotton. And how how I feel it's, it's different. Uh, not necessarily in a good or bad way, but just different from your regular uh, Kogendo or Muji or, or just regular organic cotton. A few moments later. All right, so we are back from the close-ups. And so I have uh, my Smog X-Cube 2 with me here. And this is now at 75 watts. And I'm rocking the, uh, what do you call this? P3, P3 1.5 clone. I have a review for that on my channel as well. And of course, inside of it all is cloud cotton. Right, so you can see how it looks like. I've been using this for a few hours now. And I have been uh, dripping it a couple of times with different e-juice. Well, what I can say for sure is um, the flavor is definitely good uh, in the cloud cotton, but I'm not sure if it's much better than a Kogendo cotton or, or Kogendo cotton, whatever you call it, or Muji Japanese organic cotton. So uh, as I showed you in the close-ups, it definitely feels premium, okay? It feels silky smooth. Uh, so if, if I, I was to sew a cotton shirt for example then definitely i would use cloud cotton but as far as vaping is concerned uh for for wicking your rdas rtas is it worth it is it much better um i'm not sure i think i've done pretty okay with kogendo kogendo uh muji japanese organic cotton so far and i can't really tell for sure if there's a definite um improvement in the taste in the flavor or in the vapor i don't think so you know um a lot of it is hyped up as you can see um the packaging itself you know it makes it look premium and uh, it does feel premium but in terms of performance i don't think there's much difference from kogendo cotton or muji cotton uh in fact i have used other materials that's better than cloud cotton for example rayon fibers and also this thing right here, Kendo Vape Cotton. Okay, so this is my preferred uh, wicking material right now. And this one definitely um, a lot of differences, okay? A lot of uh, improvements over your regular organic cotton. It holds a lot of e-juice. Uh, it doesn't get burned as fast as a regular organic cotton. All right, so here is another RDA that I have. Uh, with the cloud cotton, I've been using this for a few days now. As you can see here, still looks good. And this is a twisted wire build. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the cotton out. 
and check out the wear and tear for the cotton so far. Mm, and this is how it looks like, full of gunk. And I'm going to take out the other one as well. Alright, so now we have our, uh, what do you call it, cloud cotton. Cloud cotton. And uh, it looks pretty bad right now, but as you can see, the fibers, okay, the fine fibers, the fine combed cotton fibers, Egyptian cotton fibers, very easily comes out. Just like that. And this is something that I do not notice with your regular organic cotton. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse it off right now. Alright, so now I have rinsed it and you can see whatever uh, brown marks there was before is just basically gunk from my e-juice, okay? No burnt marks, which is good because uh, with my regular Kogendo cotton, after um, using it for a few days, there's always a little bit of burnt cotton. Okay, because within RDA, whenever you try to dry burn it uh, to change your different e-juice, the cotton always get burns a bit. So what this tells me is that uh, the cloud cotton is a little tougher uh, than your regular Japanese Kogendo organic cotton. Let's check the other one out. Alright, so definitely not much burnt uh, cotton on the other side of it as well. Let's take the fibers out. There, as you can see. The world's finest cotton, 100% organic Egyptian cotton, made for vapors. Alright, so how much does it cost? Well, it costs about six bucks, alright, six dollars, six US dollars. But this product, um, it's, it's, it's only available from a Malaysian website. So in Malaysian websites, that should be Ringgit Malaysia 20, 20 Ringgit Malaysia. Roughly about six dollars, six US dollars. Okay, so uh, in the description box below, I will link to a website where you can try out Cloud Cotton if you want to, and see for yourself if it's really as good as they say it is. But one thing for sure, the packaging is really cool. So definitely, once I'm done using the Cloud Cotton, uh, the packaging at least is worth. A dollar? Two dollar? I don't know. Alright guys, that's all for this. <coughs> Alright guys, that's all for uh, this review of the Cloud Cotton. Now, um, recently I've changed my channel name as well. So it used to be called Vape Dummy. Uh, now I'm just going with GK Vapes. You know, forget about all those dumb, you know, pretentious names. Uh... I have my reasons uh, for changing the channel name. But anyway, go ahead and subscribe. The new channel name is just called GK Vapes. And the new website is at gkvapes.com. Thank you very much for watching.